Hello, I'm Toy Cat, and welcome back to another third channel fast food review video. One of my favorite things to do, one of my favorite things about big cities, is that you can just hop onto the local delivery app, be it a Postmates, a DoorDash, in my case, Uber Eats, and you can find so many food varieties. If you live in a medium-sized town, you've got your standard things on there. If you live in Las Vegas or Paradise like I do, you literally have hundreds of different options of places that want to deliver you food, and it's exciting because everyone's used to the Chinese, the Thai food, the pizza, the, the, you know, the, the American, if you want to call it that, but something that is kind of unique to, I guess, America is the fact that Hawaiian fast food is a thing here. This is Ellen L, wait, yeah, Ellen, wait, uh, uh, Ohana Hawaiian barbecue. I got it mixed up with another Hawaiian barbecue because there's competing Hawaiian barbecue chains, which tells me the Hawaiian barbecue is clearly a type of food that's come on here. And let's see what it's like because this is twelve dollars and twenty-five cents worth of Hawaiian barbecue. It is a hilarious amount of food, and I still can't even really work out the theme to this. Look at this. There's there's some chicken katsu over here. Looks pretty good, right? There's some barbecue beef over here. There's some rice, but it looks like sushi rice. Again, I guess Asian influence. And then for some reason in the corner, there's mac and cheese. Although it's, I think this is actually mac and cheese salad, uh, something I've heard about. But like, what is this? It's like macaroni and cheese mixed with coleslaw, I guess. Um, it's a, or maybe it's just coleslaw macaroni bits, and I don't know what's happening here, but we're gonna we're gonna dive into all of this today. Also, because it's slightly Asian, there's bubble tea. Fifteen dollars to get this delivered to your house. It's a steal, but let's see what it's really like. So I'm gonna start with this just because I'm so. I need to know. I, I need to know. That is coleslaw, but with macaroni bits in. But not really. It's like. I'm so confused as to what's happening there. Mm. It's kind of like a, a little bit like potato salad, like it maybe say, but it's it's like p potato salad, coleslaw, but then your brain expects mac and cheese. So it's a weird blend across those three things. But let's see what this, uh, you know, this meat and rice is. Because in reality, this is actually a pretty basic meal. It's just the, the meat is where this should all stand If This is not solid barbecue beef. Then it's, it's not a good meal, is it? So, mm. Mm. I'm gonna stand by my previous statement. Without good meat, this whole concept is dead. That is so good. That is fast food meat. But it is some of the best beef. Nay, the best beef I've had in America so far. I've been here just under two weeks so far, and oh, that is some good beef. Admittedly, haven't been anywhere particularly uh, high end yet, but that is amazing. That you can not only get, you know, that high quality with, you know, some good rice. Lots of rice, by the way. There's there's rice under all of this. But that you get that for so cheap. You know, again, yeah, food in America, it's cheap and it's good. Let's try the chicken katsu. Let's see if that's on the same level. No. <laughs> no, it's not. This this looks about... If you're expecting chicken katsu to actually taste like chicken katsu, this is not that. Oh, wait, I just realized. It came with a sauce that I left in there because I was like, can't. I think this is going to need that sauce because by itself, it just tastes like, you know how fish nuggets taste or whatever? Uh, not fish, fish fingers, chicken dippers. What, what are you hinting at, camera person? What do you, what do you want? You want me to put, the, put this here, put it down, put, the, put it in my hand, put my hand up, show you my hand. You want to see my hand. You want me to take control of the camera and then you're going to get it. Okay, so... <laughs> I could have just gone it, it's fine. Um, anyway, so this is really, 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 really bland. I don't look at it like, oh, dried chicken. This is super bland, super boring. And then the rice, obviously, is gonna be the same bland, boring, kind of like. Yeah, this chicken, this rice, not exciting. But maybe if you combine it with some gravy, I can only assume this is. Oh, that does not smell like gravy. It looks like gravy, but it has this kind of pineapple, not pineapple, this kind of, is it actually pineapple? It's actually pineapple, you reckon? Okay, so it's, it's kind of fruity aroma. I'm gonna throw some on a single bit first. I'm terrified of putting this in my food, but uh, let's see for sure. Let's see if pineapple sauce. Mmm. That is enough to save the chicken. Very good, mmm. By the way, I really want to just emphasize how much food this is. Like, it's like four hands or something. It's just, it's insane. 
It wasn't like this was a large or anything. This is just their standard deal. In America, size is a giant. Like, admittedly, this isn't the most ridiculous example, but this was, you know, they, they offer like, oh, you can have some bubble tea. This is the medium sized bubble tea. And it's like, man, who can drink this much liquid? Speaking of drinking this much liquid, how about we give it a little well, shall we? Okay, so, super, super curious. <clears throat> the boba is really hard and chewy. It's not what you want. The milk tea stuff is very, very bland, I'd say. It tastes kind of like Thai milk tea, but like, it's just a milky general liquid. Not really worth it, in my opinion. Yeah, as a whole, I'm gonna give this a solid, like, not really into that. It's a shame, because bubble tea, such a good thing. You figure it's the easiest thing to get right of, but apparently not. So let's go back, let's leave that on the side here. And just mention that, like, yeah, by itself, $12.25 will get you some pineapple teriyaki, apparently, as we think. We get this amount of rice, this amount of good beef. Like, I, I imagine all the other options, because you can get pork, you can get different types of chicken, barbecue chicken. The fact that it's this good, it blows my mind. And it's that reminder that, like, food in America, obviously $12.25, not cheap in the, the direct sense. Like, that's still an hour and a half of federal minimum wage or something like that. Or, you know, it's only like an hour and a quarter at the Las Vegas minimum wage. So, like, on a technical level, you can argue, like, it's not that cheap. But the fact that, like, you can get food this good delivered to your door, this, like, super premium service for $12, it's an insanity uh, to me about how food, how cheap food is to get, like, to eat out here, to get it delivered, etc., versus how expensive it can be in stores. In the UK, food is so much cheaper than food in the stores here, but getting food delivered or going out to a restaurant, so much cheaper. And admittedly, I'm not counting the fact that you have to tip, you, not only tip at a restaurant, you have to tip delivery drivers here. It's very confusing. Like, uh, you know, I, obviously you can choose not to tip them anything, but then you feel like a bit of a jerk, and they're like, wow, what's that? You're not paying off delivery drivers on top of their services? And it's like, why am I paying a bounty, like a percentage of my food? Why, why would it be so much, you know, like, I got the bubble tea, this was an extra four dollars, so my tip went up by 40 cents. Actually, that's a bad example, because this was annoying to give me. But like, if I ordered two of these boxes, would it be worth double the effort? There's a very confusing thing about the tipping system that I don't want to mention right now, because the comment section would be like, oh, but Twicket, you don't understand. It's the it's the perfect system. And as a waiter, as a delivery driver, as a whatever, it actually is a perfect system. I really love the idea that in any job, you can do an unlimited amount, like, if you do a good enough job, you can be rewarded more for that good job. But I also just find it very confusing, but like, yeah, it's insanely cheap here, but there's always a lot of asterisks, and the fact that, you know, $12 can turn into 15, can turn into 20, and then you gotta add some tips or whatever, um, it means that things are very cheap here, but you've gotta be very careful to make sure they stay cheap. Or maybe I'm just being bitter, because I'm, I'm, you know, from a country where you tip people when they do a good job rather than when they don't do a bad job. But maybe that's just me being bitter. I'm gonna enjoy my food love. This is so delicious. You have a nice day, everyone. Unless your name is Tim. Have a bad day, Tim. You deserve it, you bastard. Okay, goodbye.